welcome back to another exercise in solid works now look notes all dimensions are in millimeter all corner fillets are 2 millimeter and material is steel AI, aisi 1020 okay this is our main drawing you will see front view top view side view and there is one detail view b now if you see front view there is a web flange you will see and there is a one circular there is one half circular and there is one more body if you see from top view this circular body 22 radius and 22 diameter you will see here even in side view you will observe this is 40 mm long then there is one rib this tapered rib it shows here 10 mm thick okay but from from this corner to here after taper this is this thickness going to be 20 mm so first we will make this flange then we will add this half circle and this full circle so this flange length you will see 60 plus 60 66 this one and uh, center to bottom distance 100 mm and this outer radius shows 22 mm so let's do this first first we have to choose plane so according to our drawing we will choose right plane a sketch now you will see at right bottom the units in millimeter gram second so let's start line okay i am going to start somewhere here press escape key okay let's activate circle and let me do one circle here okay press exit activate line tool now and connect move cursor and when you see tangent face click press escape key to out again press l key in your keyboard and activate line tool similarly i am going to connect now see is tangent symbol appear so click press escape key to out okay let's make few important thing center line let me draw one center line this is important okay i am going to select these two and select this center one if you leave okay it is not going to be considered so let me do one thing select these two lines and select the center line and leave shift key and you will see make symmetry select this center point press and hold shift key select this center point if you leave shift key you will see this vertical relation okay one more relation select these two lines equal smart dimension now according to drawing this is going to be 60 plus 60 enter but make sure 60 from here okay by default this length 66 now distance from here to here 100 and this radius it is 22 into 2 okay if you don't want to see this radius uh, diameter just click on this and it you will display as radius now look this is going to display as radius okay now let's add this circle 22 32 outer and inner one r 18 and this is a complete hole if you observe in this view you will see from this face to this face this is complete hole even though you will observe in side view so let's do this also activate circle and let me draw here two circle press escape key to out now before going to apply dimension i am going to select trim entity activate power trim and just press left mouse left and drag and see 
अगेन ओके स्मार्ट डायमेंशन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टी टू एंड द सेकेंड वन इज गोइंग टू बी एटीन नाउ लेट्स एक्सट्रूड दिस एक्सट्रूड now here we have too many close profile so we have to select which one so that's why selected contour this window appear here so i am going to select this one and similarly attach this also because this wall make it reverse keep end condition blind start plane keep same no need to define anything and this is going to be 10 mm say okay we forgot to add here click edit feature in selected contour select this face say okay now again select this sketch okay now it's time to extrude this one 32 plus 32 64 and this one going to be 40 but 10 mm in one direction c thickness and 40 mm overall so let's see how we do it select the sketch extruded boss base in selected contour we have to choose so i am going to select 1 2 and this is going to be is plane we will keep start from same plane end condition blind and this is going to be 32 plus 32 64 see again select extruded boss base now this time in selected contour i am going to choose this one now here 10 mm depth here and in direction 2 40 mm over a length so 40 minus 10 this is going to be 30 mm okay see if i am going to select this face 44 diameter now there is a one rib you will see here corner to corner this is 10 mm thick then there is a two hole 15 and depth uh, 35 mm from here and height distance 44 mm both side so first i am going to make rib so front plane is suitable for this now let me do one thing A sketch activate line tool and connect this end point to this end point press escape key to out look this is black color means fully defined go to feature and choose rib now you will see the arrow goes downward but there is a problem in thickness here keep both side material move 5 mm one side 5 mm other side extrusion direction is perfectly towards body we don't want to make any taper if you say yes it will not accept because of this circular body this is a big problem in solid works i don't know when they are going to solve this so cancel it normal activate line and let extrude this line little bit up let's say 1 mm enter escape see similarly i am going to do here also 1 mm enter now check extrude a uh, rib now everything every thing we will keep same 10 mm material move both both side and direction also towards body say okay look now it's solved it should not be there but i don't know okay let's make a hole here a sketch let me select the circle 15 mm enter press escape key to out activate the smart dimension now distance press and hold shift keys and select this outer edge and you will see we can make dimension from outer face 35 okay and distance from bottom edge 44 it seems fully defined activate extruded cut feature 
now here plane we will keep same start condition we will keep same we no need to define anything end condition either defined dimension either defined through all or either defined up to next up to next means this is going to cut up to this next wall see activate mirror now here first you have to choose reference plane or mirror plane so i am going to choose front plane you will see and feature already selected feature to mirror rest everything same okay look now here we have to make one hole so either we can ho choose hole wizard simply choose hole here iso standard drill size and uh, diameter is going to be it's 22 now here select through all no need to define anything near side counter we don't need any counter sink simply go to position you have to select face so i am going to select this face now activate now just keep cursor and you will find center point just move and place click and place press escape key to out just check isometric view say ok see now it's time to make this body see 22 internal diameter corner radius 15 distance 32 from here 40 millimeter from center point both side so let's move from bottom select bottom sketch now activate let me draw one center line press escape key to out again activate line tool now now if i move back to the point see the line is converted into arc make a close press escape key to out smart dimension now this radius 15 now distance from here 40 and distance from outer side 32 ok let's make look this is fully defined a sketch now depth is extrude 32 keep end condition blind but this is moving downward side so simply reverse direction not 32 this is 22 say ok look now let's make hole here so again i am going to use hole wizard let's make hole standard let's keep iso drill size and the hole size is going to be 12 millimeter okay keep end condition here through all position select this face and place keep cursor here and place somewhere here press escape key to out okay look the hole is created okay let's delete this either you can use extruded cut and cut it or there is one more option go to direct editing a delete face option delete face now here we need to select show selection toolbar and here in option delete and patch let me choose this face one two three and you will see show preview you will see the preview don't select this face because this is going to attach with this if i'm going to select see this is not going to work so simply delete this one okay look this is deleted let's try to mirror reference plane front plane is suitable now feature to mirror first extruded boss base the hole you will see we activated full preview so we are able to see still this feature is coming i don't know let's select okay still this is here so let me do again the same thing delete and patch okay fine 
Now look this detail view. You will see corner radius 2 millimeter. This corner 2 millimeter. Now here also see 2 millimeter. So let's do this 2 millimeter fillet. Fillet type constant size. Item we have to select the edges here. Show selection toolbar, tangent, propagation, full preview. And here fillet parameter keeps symmetric and radius 2 millimeter. So I'm going to select 1, 2, 3, 4. Just move. And back side. Not face. Okay, that's perfectly going. Say okay. Now let's apply material. Right click on material, edit material. Steel AISI1020. You will see all the properties. Apply, close. Look. But if you want to change appearance, so simply go to appearance scene and decal. Appearance, this is normal. Just double click, it will apply here. Again from here, you can edit appearance and choose any color. Let's say this is our color. So I'm going to choose this one. Here part selected, say OK. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.